Good afternoon, Rich Nass with Embedded Computing Design. I am in the Infineon booth in Hall C3502. I'm here with Steve Tadayoshi. How are you doing, Steve? Good. How are you, Rich? I'm great. Before we start, let me congratulate you on winning the Best in Show Award for Embedded Computing Design. Thank you. We're super excited about this. It's been a, a, a lot of effort to get to these products to where they are today, and we're super excited to show them here today. So explain what it is that uh, you guys are doing here at Electronica. So, uh, specifically at this pedestal, we have our new PSOC Edge microcontrollers um, really developed to bring high performance machine learning to edge compute. So, uh, into bringing a lot of the ease of use and low power capabilities that microcontrollers bring to embedded designers, but yet bringing the high performance capabilities and high speed peripherals and memory accesses that you typically would see in an applications processor, but putting that all together in a microcontroller. So what differentiates what you guys are doing from, from what some of the other folks are doing? So great question. So we have on the, on the product side specifically, we're integrating the ARM Ethos uh, U55 uh, Neuronet coprocessor. We also have an Infineon proprietary Neuronet processor called NN Lite, which operates in a low power domain paired with an M33. We've also made a huge investment in machine learning software because it's not all about the hardware. And frankly, without the software and without the tools, these products really are useless. So uh, Infineon acquired a company uh, a little over a year ago called Imagimob. Now we've integrated that, their design studio called DeepCraft into Modus Toolbox so to offer developers for machine learning a seamless uh, development flow from bringing their own model in and getting it to run on these devices or frankly, starting with data collection all the way through data labeling, augmentation, and then eventually creating and optimizing a model that runs on these devices. What are some of the spaces we can expect to see devices like this? So we see a lot of opportunity uh, across a range of applications, frankly, and that can be the most kind of obvious ones around the home for voice activation and actually local language processing on these devices. But also we're seeing more and more interest in industrial use cases uh, for things like object detection or perhaps object tracking uh, and even audio. So there's a lot that uh, we're learning around how actually intelligent the human ear is and being able to put that intelligence into, into a microcontroller with a microphone to detect what's happening in the environment or, for example, the quality of an industrial operation uh, are the things that we're starting to see evolve in terms of machine learning on the edge. So what's step one for a developer? Step one for a developer is going to uh, be actually to download the tools. And that's something that they can do right now while they're watching this video. You can go to Infineon.com and find Modus Toolbox with the DeepCraft Studio embedded in that uh, platform. And then they can get started with, with a kit. Uh, we have a nice beginner kit with PSOC 6, actually. It's a PSOC 6 AI kit. It's a kit that's sensor rich to begin that data collection. Uh, it also has Bluetooth connectivity to your phone so you can see what's happening there. Um, these kits are not broadly available yet to the public, but they will be middle of next year. Awesome. Thanks, Steve. All right. Thank you, Rich.